fam. The way my man. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. was, <laughs> he was whining. Didn't tell a single <laughs> thing. He moved his waist. Oh, he did. He had to. He had no choice. <laughs> Okay, guys, <clears throat> welcome back to all of you who came to see us last week at the live mm. show. Thank you very mm. much. Mm. It was a vibe. Thanks. It was light. It was good. It was juicy. We had a ball and cannot wait for the next one, guys. Thanks. That's just to start. So just thank you for that. If you missed it, peak. <laughs> if you missed it, wouldn't want to be you. Your business. <laughs> yeah, if you missed it, I... um. Because sometimes, like, you know when they say lightning doesn't strike twice? Facts. You just had to be there. Mm, Unlucky. Almost. But there will be another one, and hopefully, <laughs> light, lightning, yeah, yeah, you get it. The third time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, guys, welcome back, guys. Mm. You're chilling with your boys, J Money and Fire Lord Frags. And yes, before sir. we go any further, what we need you to do is pause the episode right now and head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. It's going to cost you a humble £3 a month. 10p a day. You need to run the P to S and G and I'm going to tell you why, guys. Once you get over there, you're going to find three years worth of episodes that you can binge through that no one else but the cult baby community has seen, guys. No one's seen these episodes but the cult baby community. So if you identify as a cult baby, mm. you need to head on over to Patreon, guys. It's literally Facts. cheaper than chips. Facts. If that's not good enough for you guys, you're also going to get a bonus episode every single Thursday. So if you want to keep up with the lingo, mm. keep up with what's happening, mm. keep up with the cult <laughs> updates, yeah, and jump in the Discord server. Newly promoted Newly Discord furnished discord server oh. with all the cult babies to chat there's i'm not gonna like there's chirps in there's over there chir- got there's a chirps in thread over there breeding ground there's literal breeding ground some of the stuff i've seen said and exchanged <laughs> over there is heinous if yeah. you're down for it three pound a month head on over to patreon.com for such shits and gigs <laughs> guys if you are watching this on youtube please like the video if you like the video chirps are ting in the comments Facts. notifications on subscribe to the channel Facts. <sighs> and finally guys for the audio listeners, mm. for the audio, beautiful, beautiful mm. audio listeners mm. who listen on your commute, Facts. listen while you're cleaning the house, listen at work, guys. If you're listening on Spotify, Audible, flipping Amazon, Amazon, Google, Google, Google Apple Podcast, mm. guys, we ask one thing of you guys: please leave a nice review. Facts. Five stars is preferable, preferable, but say it with chest. Whatever you do, <laughs> do it with chest. Facts. And guys, that's, the that's enough spiel for today. Mm. I'm going to pass you over to my comrade. It's been three years in the making. Fire Lord Fuegs is over here to shed some fun facts for us all today. Yes, and let's have some laughs. Let's learn some shit. <clears throat> and uh, over to Fuegs. In 1915, a woman arrived late at her sister's funeral. When she arrived, she demanded that the sister's coffin be open. So be raised so she could see her one last time. Upon opening the coffin, her sister... Essie Dunbar sat up and smiled at her. She went on to live another 47 years. <laughs> so was it a prank thing or they actually thought she was dead? Fam, they actually thought she was dead. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, if I've attended this funeral, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I'm not, probably not a relative, but I know them. You just through, know, the, yeah. know them through someone else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to be internally asking questions when SC sisters demanding that yeah. coffin be brought up. Why? Demanding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. I need to see my sister again. I don't care how late I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Raise that coffin. Raise it up. Raise it up. Oh, I'm making, sh- I'm looking around to see, uh, surely other people should be reacting the way I'm reacting internally because this is nuts. You killed her. Is what I'm, All I'm thinking <laughs> is, you buried her alive yeah. and you're regretting it. You- <laughs> Because why weren't you here early? Yeah, facts. You, fam? You're my sister. My detective mind's going yeah. mad. Where were you? Where were you? When, when everyone else arrived, why are you late? Because it sounds like to me, mm. you drugged her, buried her alive, mm. regretted it, decided you weren't coming to the funeral because obviously fuck her. F- yeah, facts. And then regretted it. Second conscience crept in. Conscience yeah. crept in. You felt bad. You rushed over there and demanded we bring up the f- the, the bring coffin. Bring up the coffin and open. I need to see her again. Demanded. <laughs> and once we did it, she's alive. And her sister just sat up and smiled. And your sister sat, that's too kawinky dinky. That's far-fetched. Someone handcuff her. 
Someone handcuffs someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because yeah, yeah. I can't I can't let that leave this area. Like that's 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 not okay. That's she's not, done something she's shady. Done, that's 1950. She's done shady. This is witch talk. This isn't a fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> she's a murderer. <laughs> This isn't a little fun facting. She's committed <laughs> crimes and she deserves to be punished. Oh, that's jokes. Who's asking her the questions, bro? That's so jokes. And why is she sitting up and smiling? She was being buried alive. She was being buried alive and she sat up and smiled. Now, this whole me. thing is convoluted. Bro, it's it's There's sketchy. so many holes here. It's sketchy. It just clearly the detective skills back in them days weren't, weren't what they are notch. today. Yeah, yeah, they weren't top notch. No because one had you, intuition or intuition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People just thought, yes. bro, a miracle. <laughs> Back then, people just said God. <laughs> Lazy. Raw. A miracle. <laughs> Bro, they were just praising anything yeah, that happened back then. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, one's, yeah. No one, they had no skeptics. Yeah, they had no balls to question it. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking because balls to question then, it. Because back then, if you say the Lord did it, yeah. no one's saying that. Nah. 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 He didn't. Bro. Nah, he didn't. No one's saying he didn't. That is a shady. <laughs> because you would get burnt alive. If you, oh, right. if you question the Lord, right. you're getting burnt That's alive. That's blasphemy. What do you mean the Lord didn't bring her back? That's blasphemy. And the Lord's speaking through the sister to make sure it happens. Facts. If you if you disagree, it's blasphemy. <laughs> Facts. Fuck you. Oh my days. Nah, that's jokes. Not happening. <laughs> that's um, jokes. But that's actually coincidentally leads mm. on to my show recommendation of the day. Okay. Fam? I already, I, I already know. You yeah. must have seen it because yeah. everyone's seen it. Yeah. I haven't finished it. <laughs> but I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> I hope it's what I'm thinking of. Dharma. <laughs> <laughs> I started yesterday. I watched three episodes back to back. Three hats! I watched three episodes back to back to back. It's, I'm spoiling it's it. It's a show. It's the best show. It's a sh- <laughs> What are you up to? Because it's 10 episodes. Episode seven. Oh, fuck. Bro. Fuck. You didn't see nothing. You haven't seen anything. Fuck. I've just finished episode three. Fuck. All right, hit me. I'm going to spoil it. But in my defense, it's a true story. I know it's, I know it's based so, on the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it will still have the same impact. What I'm it? spoiling the whole <laughs> thing. I don't care. Oh. I feel I'm sorry, but I don't actually care. I'm on episode three, bro. I don't bro. care. I'm on four, so. That's up to you. That's on you. I'm spoiling it. All right, do what you Ma- need to do. Fam. All right, say less. <laughs> but, <laughs> to it's be a fair, fuck, it's, it's actually, a fucking great show. To be show, fair, it's actually, from what you've seen, is actually not a spoiler. Okay. Because it's just more development for stuff that you've already seen. Okay. So, um... So actually, there was one bit that I would talk about that I'm not going to talk about okay. because you need to see it. Okay. There's a bit, the way they've shot this, mm. they get you in the mindset. Of my man? Of my man in the later episodes. Dharma, okay. They get you in the mindset. Yeah, yeah. What they focus on, like the way they focus on some of these murders. Yeah. Because some of them, obviously that you've seen, mm-hmm. some of them focus on... Okay, let me get the context yeah, out yeah, before because yeah, I'm yeah. going to stumble through Of course, it. of course, of course. Guys, if you haven't seen Dharma, oh my God. So it is kind of like a biopic series mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. of Jeffrey Dharma, uh, who was a serial killer in the 90s, 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s. Uh, in Milwaukee, um, USA. Oh my fucking God. So this series, 10-part series, just on Netflix, goes through... It's like an origin story. Somewhat, We've yeah, got, yeah, yeah when yeah, he was yeah. arrested, we've mm. got like interviews and it's all based. Fam, I don't know if you've seen this bit yet. They have real calls. Oh yeah, I've seen that was on the ep- end of episode two, I think. The, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, calling the, the officer, making sure like, are you sure it wasn't a child? Fam? Are you sure it wasn't a child? When I saw that that was a real call, I was like, oh my God. Mm. That's what I'm going to talk to you about. This is, okay, so this is what, the, what I'm going to talk to you about. Her name is Beverly. I the think. neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't remember her name. Oh, is it? No, it's Glenda. Okay. Glenda Cleveland. Mm. Don't know why I said Beverly. Mm. Glenda Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Gl- there's an episode just about Glenda Cleveland. Oh, sick. <sighs> Foo <Fuhan! laughs> Yeah. So for context, guys, Glenda Cleveland in the real life uh, Dharma case mm. was his next door neighbor, lived in the apartment next to him mm-hmm. and had an air vent connecting the two apartments. So she would smell shit. She would hear shit and she would complain. Complain. Yeah. She would complain. Mm-hmm. She would confront him and she would complain. She didn't know what the fuck was going on, mm-hmm. but she was hearing screaming. Mm-hmm. She was hearing chopping. Mm-hmm. She was hearing all sorts. Everything. Everything. She everything. So guys, for more context on Dharma, what he used to do. So he was a homosexual guy and he would, he... He got sexual gratification from murder. Yeah. And he didn't want to be left alone. Yeah. So That's a big part trauma, of his boy. Yeah. So a big part of his mur- like his motivation for killing 
was his fascination with he also he had a sexual fascination with organs organs disembod this what's, what's it dismemberment dismemberment disembowelment yeah. all that stuff all that stuff yeah yeah he loved the way like innards looked mm -hmm. um for one when he was wanking and he dashed the magazines and it flashed to the guts in the fish thing the, yeah the fish guts the, the stinky yeah. <laughs> fish guts wow no. wow who that's wow Nuts. so for one he got gratification or arousal. He's not even gratification. He got arousal mm. from the, the sight of like body parts mm. inside like guts and shit. For two, um, he just loved to hold dead people. Mm. I don't even know if he was banging these man because he's always grips in mm, them. Mm, he's always mm, holding mm, them. Mm. Have you seen the mannequin bit yet? Yeah, that was episode two or three, I think. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So he like, he just used like to hold people. Mm. Um, and basically, obviously he was gay as well. So what he would do is just pick up Brez, mm. bring him back to the yard, drug him. Drug him, yeah. Kill him and hold him. Hold, take pictures. Take pics. Pictures. <laughs> he had them man contorted. Yeah, contorted, headless. Yeah, headless. Armless. Taken. Fam, when, when homeboy was going through the pics and saw a man doing the bridge yeah, thing. yeah. And then saw the Next same one, pick with no, no head. head. I would have dropped the whole thing. <laughs> ran, ran for his life. Fam, I would have dropped, <laughs> scattered the pictures and just brought up a shaking gun. <laughs> if I was an officer and I'm scrolling through just pics of gays. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm putting my head in the 90s. This is how they were treating it. True. That's all he's thinking. True. These are just Polaroids of gays. Because he kept saying, don't go in there. There's just gay shit in there. Yeah, yeah, and the true. cop was, was, it was tentative. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> I said, don't touch anything. There's gay, there's just gay shit in there. And the cop was like, fuck. Yeah. He yeah. went in there and said, sharp, I need to see. Yeah. Saw the Polaroids. Fam saw one thing of some black bread doing some back thing here and said, raw. Mm. Saw the next thing of the exact same bread with no head. And then skipped to the next one. And so and he looked back and said, these are real. real yeah. These are real. <laughs> Drew for his gun. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. I would have scattered the thing. Fam, the way in the first episode, the way the black brother was dancing for his life. <laughs> That's what I would talk about. Before I get to, okay, before I get to Glenda Cleveland, there is a scene in there, guys. First episode, episode one. He gets a victim and the guy knows he's a victim now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, I just want to take some photos. Mm. So man said, okay. He knows he's going to die. Yeah. Get the camera. The way he was whining <laughs> to save his life. He, he <laughs> fam, his waist didn't so this didn't tell a single fib that entire sequence. Fam, the way my man I'm dying. Was, <laughs> he was whining. Didn't tell a single fib. <laughs> He moved his waist. Oh, he did. He had to. He had no choice. <laughs> Caveat, shredded by the oh, way. Oh, the best body. Shredded Some by the way. Some would say the best body. <laughs> Oiled and sweating. Shredded by the way. He was <laughs> dripping with sweat. Was just... Fam, just there. Caveat, <laughs> he had eyeballs on him. <laughs> He had a set of eyeballs on him. <laughs> they were big. They were poking they out. They were big. <laughs> that was probably the fear. Fam. That was the fear, <laughs> James. I don't think you get it. He was dancing for his life. He actually was. Hot. Also, <laughs> I'm not putting my back to him. I don't care how bad I want to sensualize this. Yeah, yeah. He's not seeing my back. Oh, yeah, right. I'm rags, keeping rags, eye contact. Rags, and Jeffrey Dahmer was big. He was. Oh. His forearms. Oh, he worked out, bro. His forearms. Veiny. Yeah, yeah. He knew and what he was doing. So when, oh, bro, as soon as I saw the the, the height difference, the, height the size yeah. difference between this victim, I was like, it's a rap. Oh, yeah, he's actual prey. The black brother was actual rap. prey. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. A man said to him, he laid on his chest, I want to hear your heartbeat. <laughs> Fam, he's listening to his heartbeat. And he said, oh, I'm going to eat, eat it. Eat that later. Something like that. Yeah, he said, I want to hear your heartbeat because I'm going to eat it. Fam, it just was beating even faster. <laughs> I promise you now, a grown man could never lay on my chest Period. whilst we're watching The Exorcist 3. <laughs> Three. <laughs> when he says he watches it yeah, every day. Every single day. 
laying next to a patch of blood on mm. his mattress, mm. next man's blood, and he's got a drill with blood coming out of it. There's all sorts. I know I'm getting murdered, and yeah. he's laying on my chest, and I'm gonna eat your heart. Pardon. The fit. When I was watching that, I was literally saying to myself, I think we've said this before, when you have the fight or flight, yeah. I'm thinking, I genuinely don't know. Because the whole time you're watching that scene, you're thinking, yeah. fight him. Fight, yeah, yeah. Because you're yeah. going to die yeah, anyway, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Do some. Throw some elbows, yeah, bro. Yeah, you need yeah. to do something to get yeah, out of there. Yeah. And he's frozen with yeah, fear. Yeah. And then I'm watching, I'm thinking, looking at that size difference, I'm mm. thinking, I might be frozen with fear as yeah. well. Because he's got a knife there. Yeah. So if I rock and him, it, it he, wasn't any knife. Oh, it was a machete. That <laughs> He had a machete. <laughs> a big thing. Fam, he had a fucking knife. Fuck. So I'm thinking if I'm going to rock this guy as hard mm. as I can, if he doesn't go down, I'm dead. <sighs> but if I whine and dine him, yeah. he might let me live. <laughs> he li might let literally me live. Literally whine. <laughs> Fam, the... No music. No music. <laughs> he was... There, Fuhad. I don't think you understand how much, I'm, how forward I am looking back. I can't get my words out. I don't think you understand how much I'm looking forward to watching this episode back and watching us just do this on camera. Fam, it's the Fam, <laughs> he <laughs> was there and he crawled on the floor and he was backwards, back. yeah, like this. <laughs> his back was arched. He said, You want me? Take some pics. A man said, Let's go to the other room and he sucked his finger. He was. <laughs> He, oh, Fam, when he, I saw that, I was like, oh, He stood dear. up and drew for the knife. Fam, Don't fucking play games. <laughs> Suck me off. He drew for the knife. Don't play games with me. Stop playing with me. Stop <laughs> playing with Don't me. toy with me. I said, are you high yet? When he, are you high yet? <laughs> Part, that would have been red flag yet. number one. Are you high yet? Pardon? Sorry. <laughs> Amanda said, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> he knew it. He knew his yes. fate. He knew his fate. No, bro. I that ep, that was episode one. One. I've never felt fear like that <laughs> watching anything. Fu had fear. Yeah, it was. I'm thinking I might freeze up like him mm. because this size difference. Yeah, it was. It was. It was mad. What am I gonna do? It was mad. What am I gonna do? It was mad. I'll beg him. Just rape me or something. Don't kill me. <laughs> I would. I could. I couldn't beg him to rape me. <laughs> In that moment, <laughs> when you're lying in a patch of next man's blood. Because what you're, whatever he's going to do is worse. Yeah, true, whatever true, he's going to do is worse. True, just don't kill me. Just, just bang me. <laughs> do just something, bang me, please. Don't kill me. Please. Oh. Scary. So episode one of Dharma, guys, is literally the scariest thing yeah, I can imagine. Just chilling, bro. Scariest thing mm. I can imagine. Mm. Now, let me get to the Glenda the Glen Cleveland episode. Okay. I think it's episode seven or eight. Okay. <sighs> oh, dear. Okay. So, Glenda... Lived next to my man for the whole time he lived there. Okay. When he was killing mans. Mm. So, bro, check this out. Mm. This is real life. Mm. This is real life, <laughs> bro. <coughs> so, she would wake up. So, mm. bearing in mind, so the stuff that you've seen, she would smell. She would smell it, yeah. She yeah. would smell, smell hair shit, yeah. all that shit yeah, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. vent. And she would knock on his door and be like, bro, the mm. smell is mad. Mm. Well, A man said, oh, I had some meat that went off or whatever. Mm. So and this dead is fish, tropical dead fish, fish yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Fam, so he was making up excuses. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, what happened was, um, oh my God, Fuad. Oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't bear to be clear. How she survived this, I do not know. Mm. Like, I'm not even talking about survived him. Mm. Survived it mentally. Okay. Fuhad, listen to me now. When I say this woman went through it, mm. went fucking through it. Hit me. So, mm. she would smell the stuff, the stuff mm -hmm. would um, say stuff to Jeff. <clears throat> Nothing would ever come of it. Mm. She knows something fucked up going in there. Mm. Fam, she would wake up to him hammering, soaring at like two in the morning. Mm -hmm. And she'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. Fuhad, on multiple occasions, this woman woke up to screams coming from this vent. Scream, a grown man screaming, saying, no, stop. Stop, please stop. Jesus. And here Jeff saying, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Be quiet. And then the scream will stop. Fuhad, she rang the police bare times. Mm, mm. That's the trailer. Yeah. I think that's the fam, trailer, she yeah. rang the police <clears throat> bare times yeah, yeah, yeah. and said, there's, fam, there's one time she rang and she said, 
brother, send someone now. Yeah. Send someone now. There's there's a fight in there and someone's gonna die. Someone mm. so, she said someone's getting murdered next door. Mm. Someone's getting murdered next door. Come now. Humber said, I'll send a car. She said, You don't know where I am. Yeah. You always say you're gonna send a car. Yeah. She said, I've been calling you man for months. Someone's getting murdered. Man said, Can you go check and make sure for sure? She said, Pardon? I just told you someone's getting murdered. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking check. Yeah. Send a car. I said, yeah, yeah, we'll send someone. She said, big man, I haven't even told you. And he said, listen, if you're going to keep calling us all the time, how are we ever supposed to take you seriously? Mm. Hung up the phone. The screaming stopped. Then we had the, the thing with the little boy. In that episode two or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Episode two. two or three, the yeah. 14 year old. Yeah. She rang the police bare times. Mm. About him. Mm. Um, obviously, her daughter rang the police mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and said, there's a guy, he's naked, he's drugged, he's bleeding, he's a kid, help him. Mm -hmm. Jeff said, two, two sweet gatings. Fam. And he was up in the yard again. Jeff is a master manipulator. I've only seen three episodes and he's gotten himself out of three or four situations with ease. Ease. With ease. Ease. When he was, um, when he... Um, this, um, he chopped off his first body and he wanted to take it to some dump site and he got stopped by the police. Do you remember? his leaves. What's all the trash bags? Leaves. Fam. And as soon as the police, um, the, the police officer left, he just stood in the car and took a deep breath and I just cracked on with his day. He's so calm. So calm, Fuhad. So He's calm. He's seen shit. Oh, bro. So calm. And then, so Glenda's going through it, still smelling stuff, mm. still hearing stuff. Mm. This whole hearing screaming. When I'm telling you, Fuhad, multiple times this happened with multiple different brayers. A brayer moved into the apartment building. A brayer moved into the apartment building. A gay brayer, gay black brayer, introduced herself to Glenda, making friends, making friends. She said, everyone's lovely. There's a few men you need to watch out for. He said, cool. Thanks for letting me know. I'll see you around. She witnessed, as he's walking out, bumps into Jeff. Jeff chirps as him. By Jeff, the front, the, the, the... In the hallway. Hallway door, yeah. Where she's watching it. Uh, chirps yeah, as him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Takes him out. She looks out the window. They walk off to a bar together. Listen to them come back. She never sees him again. Goes downstairs. His mail is packing up. She goes to the, like, uh, the building manager and says, Big man. Where is he? He's gone. Mm. I saw him talking to Jeff. I ain't seen him since. You need to go up in his yard. Mm. And I'm just like, I can't go up in his yard. She's like, listen to me now, yeah? I keep complaining to you about Jeff. He's doing weird shit. There's fucking crazy smells coming from his yard. I need him out, bro. And it's not even me making the complaints. Mm. It's this woman's made the complaints. <clears throat> this woman's made the complaints. I've made the complaints. You ain't doing shit. Get him out. The manager goes to his yard to get him out. Um, I haven't got up to the part, but obviously he didn't get evicted. Mm. So Jeff's still doing shit. She's ringing the police all the time about him. She's talking to the building manager trying to get him evicted. Nothing's happening. Jeff's just doing what he wants, Fuhad. She can't take it. This is going on for time. Yeah. So when he finally gets arrested, mm. she's like, brother. I've been telling you, man. I've been telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. For mm. months. Yeah. And you never come. <laughs> yeah. He's been killing everyone. Yeah. One spoiler I have to tell you. I have to tell you. Right. Imagine this as a father. Okay. So obviously when Jeff gets arrested. Yeah. And he confesses to all these murders. Yeah. They have to go around to all the people who the victims are mm -hmm. and tell their families. Wagwan. Wagwan. Mm. Now, you remember the 14 year old? Yes. He said, you took my, my brother. brother. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, escaped. yeah, 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 yeah. So in a future episode, you will actually see that happen. Gang. Where okay. he meets the brother. The mm. brother at the time was 13. 13. So, <clears throat> what happened was, check this out for racism. Check this out for racism, Fuhad. Mm. The, the boy comes home. He's mm. been drugged. Mm. He escaped from Jeff. He's been drugged, etc., etc., etc. They take Jeff to court mm -hmm. and say he's a child molester. Take him to court. Say so we want him in pen. Mm -hmm. The dad barely speaks any English. But his English is all right. Mm-hmm. The judge is like, when the dad is talking, he's like, basically like, brother, mm. I can't understand you. Shut up. Get one of your sons to speak for you. 
I can't understand you. So then he starts speaking his own language. His son, who speaks perfect English, mm. translates it. The judge is like, this is just noise. He said, you've written it down in the letter. Give your letter to the bailiff. This is just, this is, this is long. Wow. Then Jeff comes to Jeff and <clears throat> says, for the crime that you've, and Jeff didn't even plead not guilty. He doesn't say nothing. Mm. So he's like, you haven't even denied the accusations. Mm. This is the maximum sentence. Mm. But you don't seem like the kind of guy that should be in jail. So here's what we're going to do. You've got a full-time job. You're going to go pen for a year. Every day from nine to five, you can go to your job. And then you just come back to pen. The family, the family's like, are you joking? Are you joking? He's a child molester. He needs to go to pen. Wow. And the, the judge was like, nah, <coughs> it's calm. So he wow. does his little bit of time, comes out, then takes the brother. Then the brother dies. They have to go to his yard and say, your son has been murdered by a guy called Jeffrey Dahmer. The dad loses Ooh, his mind. mind. Yeah. He said, who? Jeff Dahmer. You mean the brother that molested my son? The son's there. Mm. Are you talking about the same guy? He's going to go mad, bro. He goes mad for the, at the police. Like you, man... Imagine being that father. No, bro. I would I would be in jail the next morning. Oh, I'm murdering everyone. I'd be in jail the next I'm murdering morning. everyone. I'd have to find that judge. Oh, oh. I would oh. have to find that judge. So what with this with this all happening, so now we've got thousands of calls from Glenda calling mm. the police and no one ever comes. Yeah. We've now got a family who had one kid molested by this mm. guy and another kid killed by this guy. Mm. And all of these and he's at this point in his like murdering career, he's sticking to blacks, mm. blacks and Asians. Mm, mm, mm. He's just murdering minorities. So alongside his case, where I'm up to now, alongside his case for actually just murdering people, mm. we've got a huge civil rights case mm. against the police. Mm. At the same time, okay, being like, how is this humanly possible? Yeah, yeah, that these people are literally crying for help. Yeah. From the same Brett over and over and over and over again. There's another Brett that you'll see. Not much of a spoiler. There's another guy that escapes from Jeff. Mm -hmm. Goes straight to the police. Goes and says, this guy did X, Y, and Z to me. Go to his yard. I can take you to his yard. Mm. Arrest him, et cetera, et cetera. They go to his yard. They got no evidence. And he's like, the police officer's like, there's nothing we can do. <clears throat> and they said, all he's got on his record is a few arrests. So what the fuck are the arrests for? Mm. He said, I can't tell you. What the fuck are the arrests for? He a said, few I can't arrests. He's had a few arrests, but can't tell you what they're about. He said, is it anything pertaining to what I'm I've talking just, yeah. about? Facts. Facts. He said, I can't share that information. But he goes to the black guy. You should, all, of all people should know, sometimes people get arrested when they didn't do anything. The black guy says, big wow. man, I've never been arrested in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been arrested in my life. And he's like, yeah, 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 but you know what I'm talking about. So he said, wow. you're telling me you would rather take the word of a white guy that's been arrested multiple times over a black guy that's never been arrested in his life. Just because of this social construct we live in. Wow. That's why Jeffrey was doing what he wanted, Fuhad. That's why he was wow. getting, that's why he was literally getting yeah, away with murder. Yeah, 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 he yeah. He yeah. killed people. Wow. Wow, I'm very much looking forward to continuing Bro, the, the rest of it. When I say, when you get in the mindset, there's one episode, I won't spoil anything. Mm, mm. All I'm going to say is the victim's called Tony. When you meet Tony. Okay. Lock in. <laughs> Lock in. <laughs> episode. Say less. Episode. Say less. Your heart and your brain won't know Which what is which. do. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey goes through it. Okay. Jeffrey goes through it. Okay. Okay. It's wild. Say less. That show is sad. I can't wait to finish it. Yeah, yeah, it's something else. I can't wait to finish it. It's actually it. something else. It's some of the best shit they put on Netflix in a minute. Oh, one million percent. Minute, it's yeah. haunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's fucking haunting. It's really fucking good. <laughs> when I watched that Glenda episode, I was like, I don't know how she made it through this. Mm. She's hearing a man get murdered next door and calling the police and no one's coming. Fuck. Where have I I'm trying to figure out where I saw this brother from. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out where I've seen this brother from. The, what brother? Uh, the main guy, Jeff. Oh, I, he's in a few things. Yeah, I know, but he's, I, I can't um, remember his name. So he's in X-Men as Quicksilver. Okay. Um, he's also in... Um, what else have I seen him in? 
He's also in... Oh, I can't remember. I remember he's definitely in X-Men. But I can't remember what else he's in. Let me um, pull up his name. Evan Peters. Yeah, he's a good actor. So, yeah, Quicksilver, like you said. I think I've probably seen him more in a couple of series as well. Oh, he's in Deadpool as well. Oh, yeah, Quicksilver. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Um, series, okay. Ah, that's it. American Horror Story. I knew I'd seen oh, his face before. Yeah. Swear. He's a main brother in American Horror Story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair fucking play. Fair play to him. <laughs> Fair fucking play he's to him. He's an actor. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I knew I've seen his face is familiar. Bro, well, he's doing the most yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. Dharma, boy. He's doing the fucking he's, um, most in there. Okay, guys, time to pay some bills. We're going to take a little minute of your time to bring awareness and love to the boys and girls over at Manscaped, guys. Right. Welcome to Fresh Ball Fall, guys. Fresh Ball Fall. Come (laughs) on now. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with a Fresh Ball Fall. It's the season of (laughs) pumpkin spice Mm. and making sure your crotch looks nice. Let's go. Come on, let's Let's go. go. The alliteration is moving mad. Mm. Um, that means sipping cider in a full breeze and using Manscaped products to trim your balls with ease, bro. What's this jolly jolly? What's this jolly jolly rhyme rhyme, fam? That's right, guys. Jolly jolly rhyme rhyme. Uh, jolly jokes. jolly rhyme rhyme. That's right, guys. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped, a company here to make sure that your foliage mm. isn't the only thing shedding in excess leaves. Even Mother Nature knows it's time to... L- <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> even <laughs> right, even Mother Nature knows it's time to lose the excess clutter for fall. Join the six million men now, guys. You heard mm, it say two million. You heard it say four. four. Join now the six, six million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com. Code S N G Sierra November Golf for twenty percent off and free shipping worldwide, guys. Let's go. Let's get back to the episode. Yes, yeah, fuck. Oh, that show's crazy. That show is really good. That I'm show's only on episode three in the show. Bro, really that four. first fucking episode yeah. had me on the ropes. Yeah, the, the dancing thing. That was... wine for his life was like, <laughs> oh my God. The wine for his life. Bro, he, I, I, I can't. I pray to God I don't ever experience fear like that. Fam, that was fear. I pray to God. He had nothing else but that dance. And on top of that, um, what's mad is that this is actually dr- this is what's fucked up. Mm. When I was thinking about the the difference in size, okay, and he's thinking I can fight my way out, mm-hmm. probably lose mm-hmm. and definitely die, mm-hmm. or I can just do what he tells me mm. and he might let me live. Yeah, probably won't. Yeah, but, but might. might let me live. That's a conundrum. That's what a woman goes through all the time. Fucking facts, bro. When a woman gets attacked, raped, and assaulted, that must go through her head all the time. I can either fight this brother, definitely lose, and still take this L, or I can just sit here and firm it, and maybe he'll let me live. Fuck. Bro. Dark. Dark. Let's just not go home with Brez. (laughs) Facts. How about that? Facts. Let's just stop going home with Brez. Because that's scary. Yeah, that's dark, bro. That's scary. That's, that is very dark. Who had that scary? Of course, of course it is. That oh. realization, mm. I was like, wow. No, never, never, never. Because I think I ain't got that problem. Because mm, mm, mm. no chicks having me up like that. <laughs> Just, it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's facts. Yeah. No one's having me up like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm gay mm. or female, mm. oh dear. Mm. Oh dear. It's long. Literally long. Because watching that, I was like, Jesus Christ, that's play. terrifying. Because yeah, there's nothing, play. when I'm watching, I'm thinking, look at that size difference. I'm thinking, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he could have done. Literally nothing you could he's do. He's lucky. He was lucky. How he got that out that door is beyond Bro, me. Because I was thinking, obviously, in the uh, the beginning of the first episode, they show him like trying to get out the door, like the Jeff, and he bangs the door, so he has to do it in a specific yeah, way. Yeah, he has to jimmy Yeah, it. and I was thinking, this black is not going anywhere. Yeah, oh, he, yeah. he ain't I got a thinking, clue how to open the door. He's not going to know how to jimmy the door. He's not getting out. And as soon as it went ajar a little bit, I was thinking, yes, yes, <laughs> he got out. Escape. But I was thinking, is he still going to grab him by I, his ankle and I drag him back I in? I thought he was going to drag him back in. He was <laughs> running Run. when he got outside. Help, 
He Top was <laughs> fucking <laughs> running. So would I. Oh, oh so oh, would oh, I. Oh. I would have run on top of that police car <laughs> and held the roof. <laughs> I would have held the roof. But bro, the in, again, the internal conflict of my man running to the police car with a handcuff on him and they're telling him to put his hands up and go in his He's knees. He's lucky they didn't shoot him. Bro. He's lucky they didn't shoot That's him. That's what I was thinking. Imagine they did. Because I was expecting them to shoot him. Oh, can you imagine? Like can after you actually all imagine? of that, I expected them to kill him. And I was thinking, fuck, he's never going to get caught. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. Fuck, that would have been a chilling first episode. Wait, it was chill. It still was, but if he got killed, I was thinking, <sighs> oh shit, this is going to develop. Bro, I'm telling you now, as soon as, as soon as I walk in that apartment and I smell that stank, I'm mm. leaving. Oh, fact, sir. Uh, Everyone's like, what's that smell? As soon as I walk into a weird guy's apartment and it smells like rotting flesh. Gone. Bye. Th- he locked the door with haste. Lock padlock fucking what's the the thingy lock the little, the little chain the little chain thing another lock another lock i couldn't I, I promise you now i couldn't watch a grown man do that i couldn't <laughs> go into a grown man's house looking at his tropical fish mm. hear the door close hear one lock turn Don't around know. and see him do chain, the chain other lock and, the, and the then a like, flick fuck all of that i'm looking for weapons fam when man sat him down on a bed with a knife shaking the thing is, I don't think that, I can't remember the black guy's name, but I don't think he used, obviously it's a fight or flight. He was obviously um, struck with fear. But the time Dharma turned back to sort out the TV and the knife was still here, that's when I would have attacked him. Because it, it was thing, a good, like, that's, a one and a half, two seconds. That's what I'm talking about yeah. when I say, literally internal copy, because mm. it's like, you've got one, one chance. chance you, yeah. I don't think you'd have the confidence to be like, this is when I'm taking <laughs> yeah, him out. Yeah. Because you'd need him to be occupied for like five or six more seconds. Yeah. To there's actually no really way, gauge. Yeah, there's no way you could be of sound mind or body <laughs> that as soon as he turns his back, you'd be like, yeah, yeah. you'll be shaking, yeah. fam. Because I wouldn't know. Sitting, and you'd be like, I can, I, this is my job. And then but by the time you've processed yeah. it, he's, he's turned back. Round, yeah. Fam, when he told him to get the camera, a mm. man said, and he went, he went to get the thing and he came back quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needed to commit. Mm, he mm, needed to mm, commit. Mm. That's why he started on this floor thing. It's like, yeah, he started doing that floor <laughs> one. Let's get the camera. Get the camera. Shut up and get the camera. <laughs> you want to see me get naked, right? You want to see me turn my pants off, right? Let's get the camera. <laughs> Let's go to the other room. Let's go to get, get the camera. <laughs> Jeff, Jeffrey couldn't help himself. <gasps> he knows he's killing him. He still had to get the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, the mad thing. Yeah, Jer- Jeffrey had also had internal conflict. Oh, he did. He loves man. He loves man. He loves he lo- killing. He loves, loves man. He loves organs. Yeah, he literally does. He has no... It, what's mad? He's gay as fuck. He has no interest in cock. Mad. No interest <laughs> in it. He wants to smell you and hold yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. He just wants... Pe- it's mad because obviously as the show goes on, you see a lot of his backstory. Again, I'm only on episode four, but you see a lot of the fact that he was one. He was an only child. No, he had a brother. He had a brother. He had a brother, which got taken away from him. He because drapes from him. Drapes because um, his parents split up. And he was only really, really close to his dad. But his, his dad knew he was a weirdo. But he said, you always said to him, you're a good kid. You're a good kid. You're a good kid. And he just wanted to be loved. He just wanted someone always with him. And that's the reason why he just kept on nabbing people and Dude, holding them hostage. Tell you one more time. Tony. Say less. That episode is going to rock your world. Say less. I promise you now it's going to rock Say your less. world. I'll, watch you I'll, I'll finish it this week. Good Lord. <laughs> I'll finish it this week. Good Lord. That's oh, fuck. Say less. Fam, when they nabbed him, they're asking silly billy little questions. Uh. Like, why did you kill all these people? Fam, if I've got 37 bodies, yeah. don't ask me questions about why. <laughs> why? It's a pattern. It's a yeah. habit. I do this on a daily basis. It's a compulsion. Basis. Yeah. I'm don't a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Why? If I kill one person, ask me why. That's Maybe two, yeah. ask me why. If I've got bodies, 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 bodies over years, don't ask me silly little questions about why. Just lock me up. <laughs> I've already confessed. Just yeah. lock me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, I found when they brought the dad in, he didn't know what was what. And the first thing, when they told him everything he had done, and they said at the end, we, we, uh, we might not be sure, but from the traces of the, the blades and the, the carcasses, it seems as if he eats them too. I couldn't hear that about my son. I said, you've got the wrong person. This is a setup. There's no way my son, you're telling me, not only murders people, not only keeps souvenirs in the fridge, eats them. Eats them too. 
<laughs> in one episode, you see the first time you eat something. Mm. Oh, oh I, f- I saw it. I'm really? sure. What was it? Did you not eat the the fish stuff? No, 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 no. I'm saying a human. Oh, I'm talking. I've seen you eat. Um, you eat the fish stuff. Yeah, I'm talking human being. Oh God, cooks up a human steak. Oh God, family cooks it up, and he's he's nervous but excited, and he just like sees it, eats it, and as soon as he swallows it, he's like, oh God. Bro, it's 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 terrifying. I wonder what that would do to a man. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. You can't fathom him eating human flesh. I'm not doing that. I promise you. Now I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You will in the right circumstance. I I don't think I would. To be fair, I ain't felt hunger like that. (laughs) I ain't felt hunger like that. You would in the right circumstance. Jesus Christ! If there was me, you, and a random third party. (laughs) On a desert island, and we just managed to create a fire. He has to go. How hungry are we? We're on a deserted island right now. That <laughs> okay, answers all your how questions. How long has it been? It's, it's already eight. it's already been a week. We've been on an island for a week <clears> now, <throat> and we've we've we found all the coconuts that need finding. I hate coconuts, yeah. but I'm backing them anyway. I'm drinking all the water and backing all the fruit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. None of us can fish yeah, to yeah, save yeah, our life. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we all hate fish yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's long. It's long. We're yeah. not catching them slippery fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ate a mollusk by accident <laughs> and just threw I, up. I vomited. <laughs> You're living. But I can't do this anymore. I need flesh. <laughs> I need flesh. <laughs> and then I turned to my man. Uh, I just see him in the around, distance. And he's, he's just jogging. He's bare annoying. <laughs> he's, he's bare annoying. He doesn't understand the inside joke. Yes. <laughs> He's up himself. He's just exercising for no, for no reason. Re- He's not resourceful. <laughs> he drinks bare coconut milk. He's a liability. He's just about. Yeah, he's, he's just, just about. a third wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, has yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his jokes are terrible. They're just ter- He has to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to go. Not Dang. a week, though. I, like, what did Jesus do? 40 days and 40 nights? Yeah. Come on, man. We got a, a week and we're eating human flesh. Nah, bro, come on. We have if, to do better. If I'm on a deserted island with no shelter, I think I'd lose it after two days. <laughs> I would fucking lose it after two days, James. There's no way we can make it back to civilization <laughs> and have to come clean with our sins. Yeah. And they say, how long were you there before you ate <laughs> yeah. your boy? Seven days. Man said, and for you, I can, you can never turn to me and say, I don't think you might understand. I had no food and shelter for two days. They, they can never hear... 48 hours he was carving up bodies. <laughs> Yo. It's been two days and I just lost the plot. I, lost I hate it. coconut. I don't think you might get it. I hate, I hate coconut, coconut and I'm allergic to shellfish. I had no choice. <laughs> Fuck. I couldn't see that side of you. <laughs> two days. I'd be shaking you through that. Stop. It's been two days. I'm like, bro, I can't take it anymore. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll look at you with. I'll look at you with. <laughs> you a little lust in your eyes. <laughs> um, oh, I'll be man. scrummaging for you. If I look back at you, you better take two steps back because you could be next. <laughs> Fam, I promise you now, I'll be on high alert. You couldn't look her back at me anyhow because I'll kick your jaw off. <laughs> you couldn't be foraging and look back at me anyhow because all you'll hear is footsteps and a kick to the jaw. And that'll be warning one. I'll be warning one. Keep your predatory eyes away <laughs> from me. Off of man. <laughs> Keep that hungry gaze averted. We're boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're boys. They'll find us. Bam. <clears throat> I'll make threats. Oh my God. That's so Say, I don't care how hungry you are. You're going to have trouble on your hands. <laughs> you're not eating yeah, me. You're not eating me. You won't have teeth to eat with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh God. Man said a week. <laughs> A week, bro. A week, I'm gone. I'm gone. Fam, no shelter, no food. A week. You man don't think, I don't think you know about how no, long a week human is. Human flesh, Fred. The smell alone. Oh, yeah, of course, bro. I would have to. I think after, I, bro, after day four, I'm already tapped. I'm drinking salt water, for God's sake. I'm tapped already. I'm seeing shit. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've been seeing shit since Wednesday. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my god! <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Oh god! That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Do you know 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have no idea how funny that is. Fuck, oh, I've been man. seeing shit since, since Wednesday, bro. What's a little flesh? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What's a little bit of flesh? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I haven't laughed like that in my life. Oh, That's Jesus. too funny, bro. Bro's calm, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm hungry now as well. <laughs> oh, so funny. What's a little flair? <laughs> I've been seeing shit since Wednesday. <laughs> Fuck those oh, jokes. Oh, God. The thing jokes. is, I know you'd... I know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing it now. I know you. <laughs> Fuck. I know yeah. for a fact. Yeah. You'd be eating the thing <laughs> off the bone and stare. I would stare at you one time and you'll kiss your teeth yeah. and say, don't fucking look at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be munching away and I'll look back. Don't fucking look don't at me. Fucking, don't look, fucking at me, look at me. What bro. else was I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm fucking starving, James. Shut up. You'll be there just shaking. Fam, grab a bone and shut up. You'll be shaking. Oh, I You would have internal conflict. Oh, rags. Because you're like, I, should I munch my fam, man? Because I'm starving. You've, it's been four days. And the smell days. is getting me. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, cooked on wood, that barbecue. That oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting me. <laughs> that smoky flavor's getting oh to me. Oh, my God. And you're back in it. Off the bone. <laughs> a whole thigh. I'm grabbing the tibula and the fibula, brother. And yeah, yamming I, it. I'll be starving. I'll be Fuck starving. Sake. And then I'll be, li- if I eat it, I'll be livid at you. <laughs> I'll be so angry at you. <laughs> Fuck you. you we ne- wouldn't speak for the rest of the trip. Never- the trip! <laughs> <laughs> Man said the trip. You couldn't speak to me for the rest of the trip. <laughs> I'd be so angry. And obviously, because we can't finish our, our human in one day. Oh, no, definitely. We've not. got to save. How? Where? We've got to wrap him in banana yeah. leaf and bury him <laughs> to keep Shit. the bugs away. Yeah. And then when we dig it up, I'm, ve- I'm vexed every, every single time. time. Every yeah, yeah. meal, I'm yeah. upset. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking hell, that's jokes. Oh, that that's is jokes. too funny, boy. That is jokes. <sighs> okay, you got a trash news, right? Yes, I do have a trash news. Fucking hell. Chess player, Hans Neiman denies using sex toys to help him beat a grand champion. Have you heard this? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it. When you threw me with the sex toys, mm. but yeah, I've I've heard about this. So this is a Brett who has been accused of cheating. So basically he had a match with the like reigning world champ, right? Yeah, Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen. And within a couple minutes, Mag- Magnus retired. Mm. And said, fuck this. Mm. So he walked off. Oh, no, 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 This is a different match. He got, he beat him. Basically, yeah. Hans beat him. Magnus walked off, didn't say nothing. Um, and then hasn't, like, ho- didn't openly say anything for days. Yeah. And then I think he tweeted and basically was like, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Because if I say anything, it's, it's beef. Mm. So everyone assumed that took that from cheating. Mm. So there's like little... Um, yeah, wondering what what you can do to cheat, mm-hmm. and one of the things is is basically like almost like a Morse code kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So it would be like, oh, uh, so someone could easily like have a laptop, mm-hmm. be watching the live. Like you could be at home mm-hmm. watching the match <clears throat> live stream, mm-hmm. and then you can connect like little electrodes, mm-hmm. or some people say you could have like sex toys. So you mm-hmm. could have like a little vibrating thing mm-hmm. up your body, mm-hmm. and then someone could be like C four. Mm-hmm. Like rook to C four or whatever, mm-hmm. and just be like one, two, three, three vibrates for C, mm. one, two, three, four vibrates for four. four. Yeah. Um. So people are saying like he could have something in his shoe, mm. he could have something up his ass, mm. and there's loads of little little nooks and crannies. But the reason they think <clears throat> he's been cheating, because I was like, because my brother's balls deep in chess. That's how I know about this. Oh, okay. My brother's okay. balls deep in okay, chess. Okay. My brother okay. loves chess. Okay, gang. So I haven't played chess in years. Oh, bro, I'm terrible mm. at chess. Um, <clears throat> I played the computer. I was I played the computer. I bought him on the plane back from I saw, Madeira. Fam, I lost in three moves. Fam, the thing is, I saw it. I was thinking. I was. I, I, I saw it once. I just looked away. I was like, I ain't entertained. I that. was bored. <laughs> I'm not yeah, entertained. I had no internet. I was bored out of my mind. Um, I lost, I lost in, in three, three moves. moves. How is that even possible? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, I, I knew two pawns. Yeah. Next thing I know, his knight's doing bits. Yeah. And he just said checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> I closed the app immediately. <laughs> Close the app and close my laptop. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <I saw. laughs> Jokes. Um, so, 
So anyway, um, basically, I asked my brother, how can you even cheat in chess? Mm. Like a move is a move is a move. Like mm. what what do you mean cheating? And basically, my, the way my brother explained it to me is that the a computer doesn't understand the difference. So when a computer a computer makes moves for you, mm -hmm. it will make um, there's certain things that um, there's certain like ambiguous rules in chess that such and such is a tie, mm -hmm. and such and such is a like you're winning or you're moving towards a tie. Mm -hmm. But there's certain moves or intuition that a human has mm -hmm. that um, a computer doesn't have. So, okay. for example, we could be playing and there's, it's hard, really hard because I don't really understand chess, but something to do with the fact that, like, I could make a move that's, like, in chess terms is a tie, mm -hmm. but a, a computer can't differentiate between that and, no, we're winning. Okay. So, uh, so you're making moves that only a computer would make because it just, as, a, as far as a human can see, it just doesn't make sense for a human to make that move. Okay. There's certain there's certain things like that. Oh, okay. There's certain things that, and I've seen on TikTok, they had a rematch, I think. Okay. They had a rematch online and literally one or two moves in, the St. Magnus guy locked off the ting. Oh, really? Literally two moves in, Magnus, bang, went offline. And then... I, I looked on TikTok because everyone was like, what's going on? What's going mm. on? And then someone on TikTok was like, like literally said something like rook to E4 in this thing. No one in their right mind would make that move. Only mm. a computer would make that move. Mm. So there's certain moves <clears throat> that a computer would make that don't make logical sense for a okay. human to make. Okay. So that's how they've like Sus accused him of cheating. Oh, okay. But so far, I don't think he's ever been like convicted yeah it. i don't think yeah okay. there's been enough evidence to <clears throat> say that he's definitely cheating but um let me actually just read the yeah, yeah. you've given basically what the context is yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna read what it says a teenage chess grandmaster has been forced to deny using a sex toy to help claims to help him claim his crown in one of the biggest scandals to hit the game in years hans neiman 19 an up-and-coming star in the game was sensationally accused online of using anal beads connected to a computer program that would vibrate and give him the perfect ai moves to defeat the number one grandmaster magnus carlson him back in the internet room is accusing him of cheat accusing him of using the anal beads to cheat neiman said if they would strip me fully naked i will do it i don't care because i know i'm clean you want me to play in the closed box with zero electronic transmissions? I don't care. I'm here to win and that is my goal regardless. It came on. It came as Elon Musk deleted a tweet um, of an influencer discussing the rumor that Neiman used the illicit remote sex toy during the chess, um, during the chess match. And it just, yeah, basically goes on to um, what you described. Yeah, but yeah that's, that's insane, bro. I've yeah. read the heading. I was thinking this doesn't make sense yeah bro it was it's wild and i think also what other people i think what also happened i think he was interviewed after the match okay <clears throat> and said oh why did you do this mm -hmm. and his justifications for doing it didn't make sense sus. yeah well bear sus so he mm -hmm. might be like oh i did this because if i do this it means that he can't do this and that mm -hmm. and then someone will be like that's not true because if you do that then it just means he does this and mm -hmm. this and then he'll be like uh yeah so like his mm. explanations for the moves he was making just weren't making sense. I mean, if I'm playing a game, regardless of the game I'm playing, if if I'm making a move and you're asking me why did I make that move, it's because I wanted to make the move. Like, Not in chess. Not in chess. Because chess is like chess. The only way you the chess. The only way you can be good at chess is if you can outsmart think the opponent. Yeah, three, four. You mm. have to make <clears throat> moves to influence other people to make moves so that you can make moves. Like mm. chess is not about, I'll move this so you can move this so mm. you can move this. You have to literally think three, four, five steps mm. ahead. So if you're moving any piece, you should know he's going to do this, which means I do this, which means he does this, which means I do this. Mm. That's how chess works. Mm. Like you can't just do move by move. So there is anyone, especially at his level, should never be asked a question, why did you do this? And, just say, and him be like, because I did. Mm. Like he has to explain it. Calculated, okay. Otherwise you're a cheat. Wow, because you're playing the number one guy in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah so even yeah, yeah. even like even in other sports, there would be situations where like whether it be there could be like tennis or something like that, mm. and be like, oh, I noticed that you did this shot in this moment. That's like unusual. Like, why did you do that? Like Roger Federer would be able to be like, oh yeah, I did that because I watched tape of him and he always takes a double three step when he mm. does this. So like, mm. I knew he was going to be at the back of the court, so mm. I could just give him a little thing. Like someone at that level will know. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> no one would be like, I just did. Fair. It's on, yeah. If Roger Federer did like a random 
like slice, slice when yeah. he should have like, done a top spin. And someone said, why did you do the slice? There's no way he's been like, I just did. <laughs> no, I just wanted to. I just wanted to. Nah. Was it Federer that retired? The other day? Yeah, Federer, Federer yeah. retired the other Nadal day as well. Nadal was balling. Nadal was, was balling. Nadal was balling and his hairline, <laughs> his hairline retired long ago. <laughs> Fuck. He's got the thinnest hair yeah, I've seen. Yeah, he has. He has. He's got the. Th- he looked like a horror, like a horror character. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. His hair is. I was. Put a hat on. <laughs> put a hat on or reach. You're rich as fuck. <laughs> yeah, do suck turkey. turkey and get him, get him filled in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get some plugs or something, yeah. bro, because that's horrific. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It looked like straw. Yeah, it was thin, very thin, uh, thin, thin hair. Yeah, thin, thin. He looked old as well. Yeah, man, they've been. They might have been playing. Yeah, bro. they might have been playing for years. For years. Decades. Roger Federer. <clears throat> I like Roger Federer because, like, he's always cool mm. as well. Mm. Like, you never get a rise out of him mm. for nothing. Facts. Facts. Never get a rise out of him for Facts. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. done the damn. He's done everything. Thing. He's done it all. Roger Federer is a guy. Yeah, man. Roger yeah, Federer is, yeah, yeah, is a yeah, true man, gentleman. Yeah, man. Yeah, anyway, um, what we got next? Oh, I've got an Am I the Arsehole now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so, Am I the Arsehole? This is sent in by a female. Mm-hmm. So, my friend has been talking to this guy for a while, and I'm... Ha- oh, I remember this. I remember... Okay, cool. I remember this. This one's juicy. Okay, this yeah. one's juicy. Bad, 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 All right, bad, bad. buckle up. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, my friend has been talking to this guy for a while, mm-hmm. and I'm happy she's found that person she likes after a long time. Mm-hmm. She claims she wants to loyalty test this guy, and basically begs me if I can flirt and see how far he's willing to go. So I agreed. However, I originally didn't want to as I have a really high sex drive and because we are friends, I know he does too. So we ended up having sex and it was phenomenal. We've been doing our thing for a while. Wow. Me and my friend are complete opposites. She's a very calm romantic with hardly any experience whilst I'm a freak. Whilst I'm a freak with way more experience. Am I the asshole for letting it go so far as it as I um am I asked for am I the asshole for letting it go as far as it did despite the fact that my friend said I should and knew what could happen if we did put things on the table with him. This yes. is the most outrageous <clears throat> yes, request yes. we've ever received. Yes, you are still the asshole. She said, can you please loyalty test him, give him a bit of a chin wag and see how far he's willing to go. And you banged and you him. You said, bet. Turns out he's willing to go all the way. And you're a freak freak. And I know what he wants. And we're, we've been fucking we've on the been line for weeks. Fucking because you're a little timid ting. You're a timid ting and he doesn't want that. He wants me. <sighs> Am I the arsehole? You put me in this position knowing what could happen. <laughs> you know what my drive is like. <laughs> you know what I'm about. You know what I'm about. You put me on a deserted island and there's flesh around. <laughs> I'm what gonna you... munch. <laughs> I'm gonna cook it up. What do you expect? <laughs> If you were my friend, you would have known that about me. You would have me. known that. You wouldn't have asked me to help you. You this would have asked one of your other friends. This is my fault and it's not my problem. <laughs> it's not my fault and it's not my problem. Fuck. She's still the arsehole, though. You're okay. obviously yeah, yeah, the you're arsehole. Obviously. What a random no, request. Just, you're still the arsehole. Of you course you fucked are. your best, best friend's, friend's man. man. <laughs> Regardless of even if your best friend gave you the fucking man on the plate, you should have done it. Bro, if you turned to mm. me and were like, big man, can you loyally test my girl, mm. flirt with her and see how mm. far she's willing to go? If I know that about myself... yeah. And I shouldn't be trusted. Mm. I'll be like, big man. The answer's no. Mm. Because your girl's peng. Mm. And if mm. she's actually mm. down, I'll promise you I'm banging her. I promise you I'm banging her. I won't be able to help myself. So no. Because I don't want to do that to you or her. The thing is, I wouldn't even want to know that truth. I, fam? Obviously, it's, this is bants right now. But the, when you just said... Your wife is banging, so if I get the chance, I'm going to bang her. Yeah, we're not boys, is what you're telling. That's exactly <laughs> what you're telling me. I can't do it because we're not bo- actually boys, and I fancy your girl more than I love our friendship. That's exactly what you're telling so don't me. Don't give it to me on a plate. Don't give I'll me that option. I'm yanking it from your hand because <laughs> I've looked her for time. Yeah, fam, and I want that. I want that, and I'm a freak, and you're not. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna sample it. Madness, and I refuse to take the blame. <laughs> Madness. Don't put me in this position. Because I'm a cleaner. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you know what my sex drive is like. <laughs> you know what it's my drive is like. It's a compulsion. Fuck. 
bastard. I'd expect you to be like, well, we're obviously not boys, so what are we even talking about? What are we about? even talking about? Yeah, literally. And nah. also, don't ever loyalty test anyone ever. No. So uh, stupid. No, just Life lock it is off. the loyalty test. Exactly, lock it off. There's no loyalty, just lock it off. Yeah, bro. That's There's no so need for that. fucking stupid. It's sus. It's not unnecessary. Unnecessary. But it was, it was short and sweet, but it was a juicy one. Let's do IG questions. <clears throat> right, guys. So we're going straight to IG question. And the question of the week was, we've actually done this prior. So I wanted to ask um, our fans. James asked, um, no, someone sent it to you. Someone said it to you, uh, what's the kink that your partner has that you went along with because you love them? Yes. So James did a thread of that from someone else that sent it to him. So I thought I'd ask the questions to the fandom and see what we got. So what's it called So again? again, what's the kink that your partner has that you went along with because you love them? She likes my initials being carved into her. I'm going to just keep rolling. Fam, on. please like, roll yeah, on yeah, from yeah. that. My what? Ex, my ex used to let me watch porn while she gave me head. I was scrolling through her sister's Insta. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Liberties. <laughs> Liberties. I'm telling you, certain men just don't care. Give them an inch. Yeah. They I'm take taking the everything. Whole nine yards. I'm taking everything. He liked me fingering his arsehole and used to cock his leg up instead of asking for it. Just Like a dog. Just put it up on the table. Just eye contact just... and leg up. Go on then. Go on then. You know what I want. You don't make me ask. Go on then. <laughs> nah. Go on then. He used to cock his leg up. Yuck. <laughs> Metal cable ties. The lads thought I was cutting my wrists. Me- metal's a bit much. I didn't even know they did metal cable Fab, ties. Neither did I. Neither did I. Jesus. She's extremely interested in licking my hair and sucking on my locks. That's a possession. <laughs> that's a possession. That's a dharma thing. <laughs> that's a dharma thing. What do you mean you're sucking on my locks? That's a dharma thing. Yeah, Get yeah, off yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah, off me. Yeah, you, you just like black skin yeah. and our attributes. Yeah. And I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my locks out your mm, mouth. It's a scary this thought. This is disgusting. It's a scary, scary I can't thought. even feel anything. I can't even feel anything. You're just munching on hair, big yeah. man. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. He wanted me to toss him off with my feet and I tried it, but I'm not too... <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting a phone call at the same time. I was distracting the life out of me. He wanted me to toss him off with my feet and I tried it, but I'm not coordinated enough to do that. Oh, fair enough. I, I don't think many people are, especially if the tool's not heavy. I mean, I've never if it's been like a small feet, thing so because they, they have to like... Yeah, yeah, cock it in between like the the thing. Yeah, yeah. the, 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 the yeah, arches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's wham, then you can just like do yeah. what you want. But if it's like petite, <laughs> just like... Well, my abs are hurting, just try you it. You have to do one of these. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that might be all right. <laughs> just a little... Like a bicycle thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you never know. My ex used to like... My, yeah, my ex used to like his balls being dipped in hot tea and then let it drip on my chest. So, like, this is the thing with me, right? <laughs> with the kink stuff. Like, we can trace back Jeffrey Dahmer's, like, kinks from childhood. Childhood, yeah. We're getting a full picture. Yeah, yeah, we understand why he's the way yeah, he is. Yeah. And, but, yeah, and even at the end result, he's not super specific. Mm. He's not, like, it makes sense on a gateway thing that he likes seeing, like, dead animals. Mm. He likes dead animals, like, guts and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He likes how shiny it is. Mm-hmm. It, it's not crazy to assume mm. that eventually he's going to like human ones. Mm. And then once he, he's so obsessed and mm. he sexualizes the organs so much, he wants to eat it. Facts. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do we get to teabagging actual Ooh, tea <laughs> and just letting it drop <laughs> drip on you? Where's the origin story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, how did we get here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad, yeah, yeah. bro. I don't, because why tea? Yeah, bro. Why tea? Why tea? I'm it, assuming he just loves like yeah, the tea bag yeah. thing. I don't know, but I, I don't know how we got here. <sighs> and let it just drip on my chest. It's boring for everyone. For everyone involved. And he's just solid. <laughs> he's solid. <laughs> <laughs> he watching it drop and he's solid. Solid. Pulsating. And she has to just play along. Nah. I promise there are certain nah. things I can't play along with. Yeah, same. I'm My face would express it all. Yeah, especially after the first time. We're yeah. doing it <laughs> once and we're not doing it again. Because I'm not, that. that's long. There's no way 
homeboy could turn and be like, can we do the tea thing again? Just, <laughs> man's put the do... kettle on. He has to yeah. put the kettle on everything. It's, already, it. it's boiling. It's boiling. It's boiling as he's asking. He has to let it cool a little bit because otherwise it's, it's stolen log, himself. Yeah. And then he has to squat in the tea. It's just a whole... It's a, it's whole a palava. palava. It's palava. That's oh, all it is. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, back to it. What's the kink that your partner has that you went along with because you love them? This one put, I didn't even love him, but he always wanted to nut in between my toes. Oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't even love him. <laughs> That's jokes. My ex wanted me to bite his nipples. He'd be like, harder. Oh, dear. <laughs> swear. Harder. <laughs> 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 that's joke my sighting wanted me to come over after my boyfriend nutted in me semen down my sighting so he he specifically wanted that wow wow he wanted me to suck his tits like he was the bitch oh dear she liked to sleep with my finger in her ass that's interesting it is to an extent I mean it's long. It's <sighs> fingering in the ass is interesting as a whole, but to sleep, yeah, fam, that's that would she would be livid because as soon like that's triggering for me because yeah. as soon as she's like, I'll stick your finger up there, yeah. I'm horny. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm horny, and then I, I'm gonna bang. Yeah, and she's thinking I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying big to... man. So she might like she'll. It's long for everyone because she'll tell me to do it. Mm. Then I'm horny. And obviously, I'm gonna bang. Yeah. So we're banging, mm. and then after. I'm not putting it back up there I'm, again. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. done. I'm, I've already I'm rolled up. over. I'm like halfway. Yeah, I'm in yeah, that yeah. sleep paralysis yeah, I'm knackered now. Yeah. And she's like, put it back up because I'm trying to kick. No. 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 For what? That's dead. I'm just leaving it in there. How? I can't. Like, Your even... mum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your no, mum. No, no, no. I'm, I'm doing it once. I'm banging you and I'm going to sleep myself. <laughs> Nutted on my face and left it overnight. Wow. No. That's long because <laughs> he's already had the PNC. Mm, so he just mm. wants... It's just a power thing. Yeah, now. it is a power thing. He yeah, just yeah, wants yeah, yeah. to know. To be he's fair, still once, there. He, once he's bust that final nut, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's he's clear now. He yeah. can see straight. Yeah, and he just, and all this is nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to clean up. And the fact that he wants her to stay like that. Yeah, no, that's not fair. Yeah, you're playing with her mental state. Yeah, because it's not even a kink. Because yeah. you're you're done. You're done. You're out of that sex realm. Yeah, you just you just a power trip. It is a power play. Power play. She said he liked to play classical music during the deed. Classical. Classical. That's interesting. Classical. Wow. X Fling wanted me to call him a dog whilst he licked my face and sucked on my nose. Interesting. I had to dress up as multiple anime characters, even the female ones. Oh, he's a breath. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> dress up as Nezuko. Um, imagine. With the little the, the crop things. Fam. <laughs> on your chest. <laughs> Onichan. Nah. Jokes. Uh, this is the last one. My ex liked cock cages and being told his dick was small and couldn't satisfy me. Oh, I bear man love that. Bear yeah, man yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Uh, yeah. Well, I'd, well we've, we've figured we've, out from yeah, the show, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, Bear man love. That's an interesting one because the only way, <laughs> when I think about that, I'd mm. say the only way I'd like that is if it's a prove you wrong thing. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? So like, if someone's like, your tool can't do shit to me. My oh, thing's like, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say swear. Mm-hmm. Let, let's go then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, tell me again. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't mm. it? Tell me it repulses you. <sighs> and they're just like, that's... Nah, 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 I not... can't sit there and be spoken to nah, like that. I can't be belittled like that. <laughs> I just can't be belittled like that. In a sexual manner as <laughs> yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Not like that. If I had to look at my thing and be like, what's that? What's that doing to anyone? Oh, I'm like, hey, bro, oh, why are you? Why are you doing this? Relax. Why are you doing this? I'm a human. <laughs> yeah, I have feelings too. Literally, I have feelings. Stop. Stop. I have man. fucking feelings. Stop. 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 But yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> we've been on a marathon long one recently. This yeah. is a slightly short. Not even a short one, to be fair. Slightly shorter. But anyway, guys, as always, uh Love, love, love. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. See you on Thursday. I pay for it, guys. See you in a bit.